Uh, hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Massive Loot Mondays. <laughs> Let's definitely get this one started. Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Massive Loot Mondays. Uh, before we get started, I just wanted to, you know, talk about the update. It just came out, and here, you know, I'm, I got a picture of the clock tower, and I can't help but think this update just turned it on its side, taking away over 50% of the time. I hear someone did the math, and it's like 61%. I guess if you have a big enough one, you can uh, notice that, but uh, mine went from 12 to 6 seconds. Um, and they also took away the advantage to um, pulling the clan castle that we just saw in the last update so now yeah you got to keep pulling them all the way to the end they stop once the troop dies instead of going to where the troop died uh so i found that very unfortunate two things i didn't like but i do look forward to uh the new uh, troop upgrades um there's a lot of combos i think that uh, we just haven't uh really spent the time to uh, see if they're any good like Pikas, I felt, were borderline horrible. And uh, same thing with uh, Miners. And now they both get an upgrade. Uh, so, and then Wizards uh, go up a level. So, uh, lots of new combos, I think, uh, are going to come out of this one. So, I'm excited from that uh, standpoint. So, uh, anyway, let's uh, get this thing on the road. And coming in at Bronze tonight is Brother Dolut. Uh, coming in with a walking queen, and uh, uh, this base had quite the loot, and his queen uh, kind of lost her mind here a little bit, um, and it ends up uh, just going right through the corner here. I I'm pretty sure he wanted her to go the other way, but the way this thing worked out, uh, I think he's happy because she just kept pushing her way in, and uh, here come the giant bullets. And stand and deliver he did uh, this combo was really nice how late he waited to uh, release the Valks I think he might have wanted to go a little earlier but uh, who am I to say holy mackerel trash this place uh, with the bowler Valk uh, entry and uh, we'll kind of uh, go into some interesting combos in the next uh, attack like a boss it's just taking a little uh, more time putting it together but it's gonna be a real good one so stay tuned for that one I uh, just won't get it out till this weekend. Uh, and uh, coming in with the silver medal tonight is Tan Than. A Stan. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, so uh, Stan uh, comes in here with a, uh, oh, I guess we call this the old go bolo. Um, I, uh, I love it. Uh, I don't know where he found this base up in uh, uh, Titan 1, but uh, gotta love it, man. And this had some massive loot and comes in at silver is how big a week it was this week. So wake up! Baby 
just flattened this place as you can see it's got a ton of loons left and as uh, this thing cleans up uh, this attack reminds me of whether to bring a poison or not bring a poison with an attack like this when you have as many skeleton traps attacking your uh, loons but if you, you bring a couple hounds and the pups live uh, all's well but if uh, you don't uh, the hound pups don't live uh, can be a dangerous situation so and uh, just three great attacks tonight here on, a, on massive loot Monday and here comes in the bowler pincer uh, <laughs> formation at least that's what i call this uh, some people just call it the go bowler giant bowler uh, trick with the healers but uh, uh, just the way he uh, pincered both sides I i'm gonna call it the pincer movement the pizza pincer movement <laughs> And uh, just a massive attack here, over a million in gold, and there was over a million available on both elixir and gold, but still got a million thirty-seven, eight, ten, and sixty-eight fifty-three. So uh, as I'm leaving you tonight, what are you gonna upgrade first? I'm gonna lean towards healers, since most of my ground attacks start with a walking queen. What will you choose? Thanks for joining me, guys. Hopefully on time.